so we have an article right here written by Stephen Lambrecht. I think I said I said his name. Who talks about the Google Pixel Fold? Now, recently there was a patent that was revealed of the Google Pixel Fold, and yes, I know the Google Pixel Fold. You talking about the phone that was supposed to come out in March of this year and keeps getting delayed a million times, and now it's going to be released only in China and nowhere else? Yeah, that phone. Nonetheless, though, we finally have a patent of what this Google Fold might actually look like. Of course, the Google Fold was changed to the name system of Google Notepad, which I'll be honest is is weird above itself. You know, I think Google Pixel Fold sounds a lot better, especially when they do the Google Pixel 6, 6 Pro. Keep with that naming system, in my opinion. Nonetheless, though, yes, here is what the actual patent looks like. Now, yes, it does look a little bit like a Surface Duo 2 mixed with a Galaxy Z Fold 4 because it does have a huge inner display. This all one inner display probably will have a crease. But it does have like the hinges at the top and the bottom like the Surface Duo lineup. So they might be taking a little bit of inspiration from both of these phones. Now, of course, there will be an outside display on this. But here is the big kicker. There is no under display camera. So based on this pattern, it's going to be a thicker bezel on the top and the bottom. And the top will actually house the inside camera. So I don't know how I feel about that. So as you guys know, a lot of times with different cell phones, whether it's an iPhone or the Galaxy S22 Ultra, they usually have like a little pinhole camera inside the actual display, right? So you look at the display and underneath the, like in the glass is a little hole for the camera and that's usually how it works. Well, the issue is you kind of can't do that when you have ultra thin glass that folds. If you have any little circle slash hole in that glass, you're going to cause an issue because of course how glass works is the smallest little hole will eventually spread into an absolute shattered phone. So it's a really tough situation for uh, Google here. So their solution is make a thicker bezel. And in that bezel, you will go ahead and house the camera. It's a weird solution, but it's really the only solution that makes sense. If they don't want to put an under display camera which also means this might be the best foldable phones camera for an inside display on the market. I mean, with how much phones are actually on the market, it's not saying much. So here's another picture, another a picture of the patent. We, of course, do have all one display. And then again, the bezels are the outsides of the black bars. So the top and bottom here. And of course, we have the, the uh, camera right there with 210. Uh, skipping forward here, of course, it will close and have that hinge. Now, kind of like the Surface Duo lineup, it will have a little gap right here, and it will have that gigantic hinge. Like I said, it looks a lot like the Duo and the Fold 4 combined, except the inner display camera obviously being a little bit different. And of course, this is what the camera looks like, which of course will be, um, like I said before, Going back here will be right here. So 210 will be the camera. I'll be honest, you know, I'm not too much. I don't have too much of an issue of thicker bezels on any cell phone. Like, yes, it's a little bit different to have a thicker bezels on cell phones. Because like with all the cell phones nowadays, right? Whether you look at the iPhone 13 Pro Max, Galaxy S22 Ultra, Surface Duo 2, Z Fold 4, you name it. Pretty much it doesn't have bezels. That's the whole point of nowadays with cell phones is getting rid of bezels. No more bezels on cell phones. All screen to body ratio is 99% screen. So going back to having bezels now might be an interesting call by Google. But I think what they're doing, they're trying to also set themselves out and look different than other companies like Samsung because Samsung costs 
while the under display camera is only four megapixels, that's a huge issue to a lot of people. So I guess thicker bezels, but a 12 megapixel inside camera, we'll see how that ends up working out. Now, recently we learned with the Surface Duo 1, the Surface Duo 1 actually has a 15 megapixel camera on the inside. That one shooter on the inside of the uh, Surface Duo 1, it's a 15 megapixel camera. But because of the glass and how long this, how far the sensor is from the glass, it's actually only a 12. So it's a 15 megapixel sensor, but because of the glass, it's only a 12. So it's just interesting to keep that in mind. Again, like I said, I can't wait to see what this ends up looking like when it does come out. I think it's going to look absolutely amazing. But as we see from this picture right here, it's kind of interesting how it does have, it looks like in this picture, obviously this is a mock-up. There would be like a, a, a phone screen that spreads around. Obviously we see in the pattern right here though, it, it, it's going to end up being a hinge, but I don't know. I'm going to tell you right now though, whatever it ends up being, because it will only be released in China, it's not going to be as popular as the Z Fold series is. And it's going to be one of those kind of pushing the, pushing the industry further with foldable phones, but not enough where it's going to be this huge masterpiece. So maybe in a couple years when we get the Google Pixel Fold 7 or 3 or whatever the case, what they call it, maybe that will be that next level, you know, push of the industry for Google. But it's kind of funny at this point how much, you know, Samsung was right. And they're going to control like 97% of the industry this year. And probably moving forward, especially with how amazing the Z Fold 4's reviews have been <coughs> with Android 12L. Nothing is unstoppable right now for Samsung. Google, though, yeah, they're creating a device. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.